case you didn't know. <laughs> so we're going to flop a Toyota. Because that's all they're good for, right? Ah, oh, ooh. <laughs> um, so her name is Candy, and this is her job, and she does it very well. Candy, roll over, play dead. She's not listening to me right now. You gotta get the remote, you know. But um, uh, so she's set up for this. Obviously, she has the exo cage. Um, then I've got a helmet. I'm gonna have my uh, jacket on. There's a harness in there, so. Uh, and everything up is, is sealed up pretty well on her um, just to do exactly what we're going to do right now. We got the tarp down just in case she does uh, puke any fluids out. And we have um, Nick up there, my uh, uh, guy with the red hat on getting into my truck. He's a, a medic and firefighter, so he's got his handy fire extinguisher. So so we don't just do this haphazardly. This is uh, This is intentional. We do this for training and stuff all the time. Um, also, uh, very uh, important is to have the ostrich leather interior, which Candy has. So, <laughs> um, so I'm going to bring her down on this rock. You can see where we kind of uh, put the landing zone. Going to drive up on there, let her roll over on her side. This is just to demonstrate um, how easy it is to use the uh, the winch on the power wagon and why it's really handy to have one in the first place. So, um, the uh, we have two trucks in place because depending on where I land. We usually use at least one, if not both, trucks to, to get her back up on her wheels. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, the uh, And I know we've got victims, I mean volunteers, who we're going to have <laughs> run the winches for us just so they can, they get, you know, we get some of you to get first uh, first hand experience, literally, on running the winch. So I'm going to go get suited up and get in the truck, and uh, you'll see me coming. See you in a minute. Hey, Nan. <clears throat> Usually I'm teaching people how not to oh. flip vehicles, or at the very least, uh, how to uh, put them back on their wheels. And there's a lot involved. We could spend all day uh, talking about winching alone. We could spend all day just talking about, you know, dealing with a rolled vehicle. Um, we're just going to give you the highlights. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna go down over now. Okay, woohoo! <laughs> Alright, come on, can you darling? Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> Yeehaw! <We're good. laughs> yeah, we're good. Uh. <sighs> Is she smoking? No smoke. Oh, no smoke. <laughs> Wait, selfie? <laughs> Are you okay in there? Yes, but yes, sir. I'm just taking some selfies. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Here's my view. <laughs> All right. Let me hand you that too. Okay, here's the hard part. Woo! This is where the yoga comes in handy. About to release. There we go. All right. Okay, what do you, uh, I'm gonna put her in gear. Yeah, I'm trying to make that e-brake. Doesn't want to go. I got two clicks out of it. Wait, hang on, stay in there for a second. Okay. Yay! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, got it. Yeah. Thanks. All right, here we go. This is what you're supposed to do, right? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, nailed it. <laughs> all right, so um, we could spend all day talking about recovery analysis, but we're going to keep this uh, pretty quick to stick to the basics here. So um, she's on her side. We want to get her back on her wheels. Obviously, if we just put her back on her wheels that way, I'm right back where I got into this mess in the first place, right up on the rock. So, so we were going to drag her back in this way. If that, does that make sense? So that we can then, it, it, once her nose is facing the rock, we can turn her back on her wheels this way. So we'll utilize both trucks in this case. We've got them already set up and ready to go. We're going to hook up and pull her around. So Nick here, Nick, give the crowd a wave. Nick from Black Sheep Off-Road, woo -hoo. <laughs> He's hooking up a soft shackle to the, uh, the exo cage there. To the other Nick? Yep, the other Nick. Kapalapa, bringing the winch cable over. So right now the, uh, the winch is disengaged. We're gonna go over. Now it's up to you, Nicole. All right, so what we're gonna do, so we got the winch hooked up. We're gonna put a little tension on it first. So Dave's gonna be our stunt driver. Okay. <laughs> well, let's put it, what, what you wanna do, okay. So when you're doing, uh, when you're winching, you're doing it for two reasons. Either one, you're pulling yourself out of something, right? Oh, thanks. Or, or two, you're pulling somebody else out of something. Usually it's your friend with the Toyota, right? So, <laughs> so in this case, we're pulling uh, somebody else out. Uh, in that case, you want to be in the truck or have somebody in the truck um, with the truck in neutral standing on the brake. If you are pulling yourself out, you're going to be driving the truck. You're going to be using the power of the truck to drive yourself out. So, Nicole, are you comfortable doing that or we can have... Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And notice, see how he's rigged the winch line over here. So, since the cable's down here, we got the winch line going through the hook on the opposite side. Okay there. Yep, beautiful. Okay. All right. So, put the truck in neutral. You're standing on the brake. Now, this is not going to be a lot of pressure for this truck. It's not going to be, but this is always a good safety precaution to do. All right. So, uh, put some tension on the winch cable, and then we're going to double check the rigging. Good. All right, so we're checking everything. The cable's winding up nicely. Uh, nothing got twisted or cut loose over here, so we're good. We're gonna uh, put a something on the winch line just as a little dampener there. And then we're gonna stand back. Where's all the pressure? Which way, where's the pressure going? It's going in this direction, right? So we wanna make sure we don't have any people standing, like if that thing let go on one end or the other. This is a you know 26 year old car. God knows what could fly off of her. So uh, imagine if that let loose on that end. The cable goes flying back that way. You don't want to be standing over there. All right. So nice and slow. We're going to check that tension. Make sure everything's moving really nice. Good. Looks good. Keep going. Beautiful. Easy as pie. <laughs> We're just going to pull her around until her back ends right over here. Uh, this has an exo cage on it, so we've got all kinds of great winching points. You don't necessarily have that on every vehicle you're, you're uh, trying to recover. And it depends on how much of the vehicle you're trying to save. <laughs> exactly. But um, uh, a good, another good technique, you can either hook onto the frame of the vehicle, which obviously is very easy to see in this position, um, or you can wrap a strap around the whole body of the vehicle so you're pulling the whole thing up. Or uh, if it's a Land Rover, you want to get two big, thick, heavy straps so you don't scratch the paint. Yeah. <laughs> okay, give it, give, it a, give it a little tension. All right, so we're going to, uh, we got this hooked up. We're going to wind it up here. And uh, Nick, if you grab the jacket there. And once that cable is tight, you want to treat it like it's electrified. You want to you, you want to stay away from it once it's tight. Okay, a little more. A little bit more. 
a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, well you see we got some tension, the hook's nice. 